Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And I know I haven't posted for so long. As in sobrang tagal ko nang hindi nakapag-post. I was just going through so many anxieties and social pressure and social dilemma. I think for the past few months and years, although it wasn't something that was that was taking over my life, but there are other things that I had to prioritize before I kind of like open the box of forms when it comes to this dilemma that I experience. And it's just now that I came into terms of all this that is I am processing in my head. And I'm also gonna, by the way, share you guys um, some tips on affordable makeups, especially for a lot of Filipino viewers that I have out there from my mga kababayan ko dyan na naghahanap ng mas murang paraan to buy like an affordable makeup. And I do have my opinion and suggestion about it. And um, before I share like a life update, um, I know a lot of you guys like are looking for a cheap alternative when it comes to makeup. But for me, I would have to say the cheapest makeup that I would recommend to everybody, especially for those of you who are on a budget, is the brand Maybelline. Like the first time I used it, even when I was in college, like I would use like powder to just even my complexion. Um, it does a job in L'Oreal when it comes to drugstore, but so far, I think maganda rin yung Nichido, but the problem with Nichido, they don't have like an array of shades that are suitable for your complexion, unlike brands out there like when it comes to NARS, MAC, and at the same time, it's also about the formulation. Dahil, I've also used like drugstore products na, like after a few hours, <laughs> they would run to your face and they would like, there are also cheaper versions of lines of Maybelline makeup back then, especially the BB cream era when it was such a big boom. Nah, it wouldn't really last in your face. And tagal, asin talagang, it will run down. And so I have a test to high end makeup, especially when it comes to their formulation. And their effect. Like right now, I'm using. Milk, hold on, and guys, medyo overexposure, so kadiri, medyo may foundation. But I'm using this milk makeup right now, and I love the shade. I kind of like the fact that it comes in a stick. So I, use, I do use many foundation and concealer. So sometimes I use only concealer, and sometimes I like to use foundation sticks, depending on my mood and depending on my skin condition that day. So right now, I'm trying to cover some blemishes. That is why I'm using milk makeup. And this has always been a constant in my makeup routine, a sponge. I got this actually from Official His. This is a makeup brand that I collabed back then. And ever since, like I just did use it. Cause most of the time I'm still a brush type of person. That hill is just easier to apply and then just brush, 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 and then you're done. I've always been a powder guy person. And so when it comes to powders, I have two shades that I use constantly. This is the Fit Me in the shade of 220. And this is in the shade of 310 Sun Beige, Natural Beige. I use two shades for lighting contrast purposes. Dial Shempre, I'm always doing Instagram, I'm always doing video, doing TikTok, and also, just, I guess, the technique that I've kind of got comfortable in the long run. So I always use this 220 for my under eye. But there are times as well, I don't purposely solely just use this for my under eye. There are days when I'm less exposed in the sun is I'm fairer. And when I'm the days that I'm more exposed in the sun, I become darker. So these are the two shades that I always go into every time that happens. So they're totally completely different. I used to go higher than this, but I've had other makeups before. I mean, the only reason why I really like using this is because it's really cheap and it doesn't break your back. And especially if you wear makeup every day or almost every other day like I do, then you wouldn't want to spend so much money for a makeup that's like usable every day. So, kaya lagi ko siyang And so, I have a brush like this. 
I think this is Morphe, but it doesn't have to be this branded. It, it only has to be, this is actually not for the, uh, uh, this is a contour brush and I use it for my under eye. Wala lang, trip trip ko lang. And so I tend to have oily skin too. So the good thing about powder is it kind of makes your skin more matte. Hindi siya masyadong obvious by the way because of the lighting that and also this is camera it doesn't really translate that much and also the reason that i pick this shade is that and put it on my under eye that hip it's also not too bright it's not like a baking powder or a loose powder that really highlights your under eye area and it's not what i'm trying to achieve i've always been the type of person where i kind of want to look all the time as natural bronze like healthy skin glowing skin all all time so it's not the, the makeup technique that i go into and i'm also not a makeup expert so this is just my everyday routine that i do all the time and then after putting a lighter shade underneath my eye is i use a darker shade to just buff it the rest of my face i don't have much skin issues right now so i don't really lather or like sweep all this powder into my face because if I put too much, it gets darker. And I know some people out there experience hyperacidity where the foundation shade that they have applied on their skin changes over time. And I, so far, I got lucky enough that I don't have that problem. But for those of you who have that problem, oxidation is what they want to call it. I think you have to find a perfect shade and a perfect formulation that doesn't oxidize. And unfortunately, that comes with a price too. Uh, formulation comes with... Oxidation and quality of your makeup comes with a price. So my only tip is if you're spending something that's at least $40 or a thousand pesos and above is you don't have to use that every day. You can use drugstore makeup like this, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, and Baba. Um, there's so many drugstore, Revlon, so many out there that are also have good quality. And those high-end expensive ones that you have, just use it on your special days, an interview or a date, birthday, whatever party, sky's the limit. Or just one of the days that you feel really extra. <laughs> Cause I have a mixture of high-end products and a mixture of drugstore too. But when it comes to powder and everyday, I always use drugstore. And I think that's it guys. Like, uh, yun yung mga gusto kong tip na share sa inyo. But more or less, I feel like I've more on the next chapter. I mean, this is another chapter. This is a next, a different topic. On a, a lighter side <laughs> of my life, I feel like right now I'm more clear into doing certain things that I really want to do. And, um, I think I need to talk less about it and do more of it. And America really opened my eyes into so many things when it comes to career, like relationship, business, and especially I came here in the middle of the pandemic. So it's a whole different story. But um, I'm in a place where I feel like this is where I belong and this is what I've been aspiring to be at. And all this is not possible as well. Sorry, sorry guys. So he's been the biggest confidant and also my biggest supporter in life. I mean, I really couldn't ask anything for more for all the support that he's giving me. That's it guys. We're highlighter a Extra, extra. So, ito pala. I just got this as a PR product. Itong Merit na to. And I love their product. I so love it. It just makes me feel like it's so minimalist and at the same time, it's so elegant. Hindi ako sure if it's available in the Philippines, but because I'm here in America, it's available at Sephora. And I got this PR product. So, by the way, guys, most of the products that you see that I post on my Instagram and online, those are PR products. Like, I don't buy them. 
Oh gosh, guys. Iba pala siya kapag natatamaan ng ilo. As in, I haven't really applied this. And I'm not a big highlighter person. I really am not. But for the sake of this video, medyo dubi-dubi lang ng under. Because that, I, I was just so hesitant to post. Oh, by the way, this is all random now. I'm so hesitant to post on social media just because I wanted to avoid people getting envious about certain things. And I mean, for those of you who have been subscribing to my channel and who watches my video, you guys know that, you know, social media became a double-edged sword in my life. And for my friends who are watching, you guys know Nah, it gave me opportunities and at the same time, it cost me my job too. So it's a little bit of a traumatic journey when it comes to social media for me. So Medjo, it was always a constant battle. Like, how am I gonna deal with it? And at the same time, a few months ago, I got an email from a reporter from Thomson and Reuters and I kind of like don't know the type of water that I'm setting my foot into so Mejo kind of stepped back and, and then I took the video on private by the way and so one random person that I don't know and has not emailed me since kind of um wanted me to be part of this movement. Propaganda is what they want to call it. Hold on. Okay, presentation na guys. Mention what I train of thought ko. But, um, I feel like I look better. I feel better for my age. And I'm also turning 30 this year. And so it's a different chapter for me. And I'm also just in a way Thankful, despite all the struggles that I encountered this year, personally, professionally, everything, um, I still find time to look at the good things and exercise gratitude daily. Dahil sometimes you get caught into um, the things that you don't have and dwell on the things that what doesn't make you happy and we forget to look at the good things around us that a lot of people probably don't have and you forget sometimes to be thankful about those circumstances and situations that you're in in your life right now and that's what I constantly practice but at the same time motivate myself to do more and um, be braver in venturing into other things. And um, I hope you did. For some reason, I don't know why my iPhone is lagging and it just stopped <laughs> recording. But thanks for watching guys and be safe all the time. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me as well on all my social media accounts. And bye.